As we look towards the top of the vessel, that top portion of the vessel is actually the Sahara portion of the vessel. That's where we're separating all liquids, gases, and propane, right? So as the vortices is being forced, as we're spinning the solids out, those solids will actually drop down into the lower chamber of the vessel. This chamber is a static chamber. There's no vortex down there. Therefore, you don't have disturbance and you don't have turbulence down in that bottom part of the vessel. It doesn't stir the sand up and pick it up and pull it back out the top. So everything is taking place in the very top of this vessel. Why that's important is this. Most companies are using this entire vessel and trying to create a vortex in the entire chamber. And when you do that, if you manage to create a good vortex, you always are gonna have disturbance of that sand because the sand doesn't dump all by itself all the time. So it builds up in the bottom of that chamber. And if you have a vortices in the bottom of it, it's now stirring that sand back up and it's carrying it back out the top of the vessel.